U.S. Army Depot near Richmond completed its mission last week, destroying the remaining U.S. stockpile of chemical weapons. But what's next for that large facility? As WKYT's Grayson Passmore shows us tonight, the public got a chance to share what they hope to see in Madison County in place of the depot. It was in the works for a year, and finally, 101,000 projectiles with chemical weapons in them, 523 tons in total, were destroyed. So that was a celebration that was not only an, a huge accomplishment for Kentucky and our nation, but for our world. So that was a momentary celebration, and then we rolled up our sleeves and we started thinking about, as that mission has ended, what are we going to do next? For Commander Ronnie Anderson Jr., that next step is hearing from the community and their hopes for the future of the Bluegrass Army Depot. Uh, what opportunities can we develop for the community? Can we develop for our teammates who have been that dedicated workforce doing technical dangerous work every day? But then also looking at the capabilities of all of the investment that's been going on uh, in the infrastructure at Bluegrass Army Depot. The overall consensus was relief that the chemical weapons had been destroyed. Then some, like Bria Mayor Bruce Fraley, touch on the economic aspect. So having the workforce, the people to do the work basically is one of the biggest issues we face. So there's a grand opportunity there. Fraley says this would be the time to take advantage of potential partnerships with local governments. I think that would be a, a show of goodwill on part of the Department of Defense and the Army to work with local defense to make land inside the fence available for economic development. While they consider what they heard Thursday night, Commander Anderson says one thing is certain, the Bluegrass Army Depot is not going away. In Madison County, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. And some additional uh, details on this. Commander Anderson says they will add the summary of what they heard tonight to their study, and then they will submit the final copy to Congress by a September deadline. So